First look the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander is more than just a grander lander. Meet Toyota's all-new 2024 Grand Highlander, which, despite its name, is not actually just a bigger Highlander or a poshed-up one, as Jeep's Grand Wagoneer is to the regular Wagoneer. The three-row Grand Highlander SUV is actually a completely new vehicle, larger than the Highlander and intended to compete against the likes of the Hyundai Palisade, the Kia Telluride, Volkswagen Atlas, and even Jeep's Grand Cherokee L. Visually, it's pretty easy to tell the Grand Highlander from its non-Grand sibling. It's a bigger vehicle, standing 4 inches longer, 2 inches taller, and 2.3 inches wider. From the front, the Highlander's algae sucker fascia is replaced by a more conventional dual grille arrangement. From the side, the Grand Highlander does away with the Highlander's exaggerated door-to-fender character lines, instead featuring a belt line that runs nearly parallel to the ground, and it has a thicker D-pillar. Blocky and solid, the Grand Highlander looks unashamedly like the family hauler it is. It's a handsome vehicle in the way that a Clydesdale is a handsome horse. The interior, though differing in detail from the Highlander, features the same general layout, its 12.3-inch center screen sitting atop climate controls with proper buttons and dials. As with the Highlander, there is plenty of storage space, including a deep center console. Front seats are supportive and comfortable. We sampled both the leather seating in the Platinum model and the Ultra Suede and Leather exclusive to the Hybrid Max, either setup would do a Lexus proud. For the roomy second row, the Grand Highlander offers either individual buckets or a three-row bench, for a total of either seven or eight seats. Seven USB-C ports and 13 cup holders are scattered throughout the interior. Toyota is making a big deal about the third row, saying it's size for two full-size adults. Indeed, we found an almost six-footer can fit back there with adequate headroom and enjoy a reasonable amount of legroom, as well, provided the second-row passengers are willing to give up a bit of their own. However, just because you can fit doesn't mean you can fit comfortably. The low-mounted bottom cushion makes for a knees-up seating position, and the seat itself feels hard and thinly padded. The amenities are there, each third-row occupant gets their own USB-C port and twin cup holder that doubles as tablet stowage, and a well-positioned grab handle makes ingress easy. Unfortunately, as soon as you're in the third row, you might well want out again. One chief advantage of an SUV of this size is the ability to carry cargo with all seats occupied. The Grand Highlander offers 20.6 cubic feet of cargo space with a third row in place, and its shape will accommodate bulky suitcases. With all seats down, the Grand Highlander offers 97.5 cubic feet of freight volume.